Hey everyone, today we're making the scalloped v-neck crop sweater. I'll be showing you how to make this pattern in size extra small to small, but for other sizes, there's a full written pattern in the link in the description bar. You will need super chunky 14 ply yarn, a 9mm or M slash N 13 crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle, and some stitch markers or safety pins. Today I'm using Droops Andes in the colour grey lilac. To begin, create a slip knot, and you can do this any way you like. Insert your hook into the knot, and chain 40. Make sure your chain's long enough to reach from shoulder to shoulder. So to chain, you just yarn over and pull through. Double count your stitches to make sure you have 40 chains. And now we're going to build the cardigan. To start row one, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain. And then we're going to double crochet all the way along the row. Insert your hook into the third chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and you have your first double crochet. Continue along with one double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. We're almost at the end of row one and we're just going to place a double crochet into the last chain. And make sure you have 38 stitches in this row. Turn your work and now we're going to start row two. So to start a row, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch. To single crochet, you insert your hook into the stitch, you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then on top we're going to chain one. I find that this helps create straight edges instead of the chain three method. And then you're just going to double crochet into every stitch along the row. You're going to repeat row two four more times. Turn, single crochet into the first stitch, chain one, and then double crochet until the end of the row. Just to note that the final stitch in your next row should go into the chain one. So we're almost at the end of row six, and we're going to place our last double crochet on top of the chain one. Make sure you have 38 stitches and six rows of double crochet. Now we're going to build the v-neck portion of our sweater. Turn your work. Now you're going to insert a safety pin or a stitch marker into the 19th stitch from the hook. Now we're going to start building our v-neck. So we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then chain one. And now double crochet into the next 16 stitches. Make sure you have 17 stitches and now we're going to double crochet two together. Double crochet two together. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through and you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, the stitch with the stitch marker. Yarn over and pull through. You should have four loops on your hook. And now you're going to yarn over. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And you can see that we're starting to build a diagonal line. To start row eight, you're going to turn, and then you're going to single crochet into the first stitch. So on top of the double crochet, two together. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to double crochet in each stitch along the row until the end of the row. So you should have 17 double crochets. So we've just finished row eight and we're going to turn and then we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then chain one. So all odd numbered rows follow this pattern. And then we're going to double crochet until we have two stitches left. 
and then in the last two stitches we're going to double crochet two together. We have two stitches left of row nine so we're going to double crochet two together. So to start row 10 we're going to turn and then it's an even numbered row so we're going to single crochet into the first stitch, chain 1 and then we're going to double crochet until the end of the row. So we're going to repeat these patterns until the end of row 14. So just make sure you follow the right pattern for odd or even numbered rows. We've now finished row 14 and we're just going to double crochet into our last two stitches. And you can see that we've created a nice diagonal line. And row 14 should have 12 stitches. So we've now turned our work and we're going to secure our yarn one stitch to the left of the stitch marker. And we're going to start building the left side of the v-neck. We're going to pull through a loop and it doesn't count as a stitch. And we're going to double crochet two together into the first two stitches. And then we're going to double crochet until the end of the row. You should have 18 stitches all together. So to start row 8 on the left side, we're going to turn and then we're going to follow the same pattern for all even numbered rows. So we're going to single crochet into the first stitch, chain one, and then we're going to double crochet into each stitch until we only have one stitch left. And on that last stitch, we're going to single crochet and then chain one again. And that should be on top of the double crochet two together. So we are placing in our 16th double crochet, which is on top of the last double crochet. And then we're going to single crochet on top of the double crochet two together. And then chain one. And then we're going to turn to begin row nine. For odd numbered rows, we're going to skip the first stitch and then we're going to double crochet two together into the second and third stitches. So make sure you skip the first stitch. So don't stitch into the single crochet plus a chain. And we're going to follow this pattern for all odd numbered rows. So skip the first stitch, double crochet two together, and then double crochet until the end of the row and turn. And you're going to repeat the pattern for odd and even numbered rows until the end of row 14. So we're approaching the end of row 14 and we're just going to double crochet into the last stitch which is on top of the double crochet two together instead of a single crochet plus a chain. I find this just makes the top of the cardigan nice and even. Now you can fasten off and turn the sweater. So we have the right side of the project facing us and we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch on the top right hand corner and pull through a loop. And so we're going to single crochet into the first stitch, chain one, and then we're going to double crochet into the next eight stitches and then double crochet two together. So we've just done eight double crochets and now we're going to double crochet two together. In total, we should have 10 stitches. So 
So our chain of 18 reaches until the other side of the V and we're going to skip the first stitch and we're going to double crochet two together in the second and third stitches. So we've connected the two sides together and the triangle will be your neck hole so just make sure your head fits through the hole and we're going to double crochet until the end of this row and in total you should have 38 stitches. Now we've finished the front panel and we're going to turn the sweater and start working on the back. To begin row 16, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then double crochet into the next 37 stitches. So in total you should have 38 stitches. At the end of the row, turn. And we're going to repeat this pattern until the end of row 30. Single crochet, chain 1 into the first stitch double crochet until the end of the row and turn. This is what the sweater should look like after row 30. Make sure your head fits through the triangle. Now we're going to make the sleeves. So to start off, create a slip knot and insert your hook into the loop. Chain 28. We now have 28 chains and we're going to insert our hook into the third chain. So yarn over and double crochet into the third chain and double crochet until the end of the row. In total you should have 26 stitches. So we're almost at the end of row 1 and we're just going to double crochet into the last chain. Double check that you have 26 stitches and then turn. To start round 2 you're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then chain 1. You're going to double crochet in every stitch until the end of the row and then turn. You're going to repeat row 2 until the end of row 18 and if you have long arms you might want to add an extra few rows. So we're at the end of row 18 and at this point you can attach your sleeve to the body of your cardigan with safety pin or stitch markers and try your cardigan on. Please note that the ribbing of the sleeves will add another 6cm. Once you're satisfied with the length, fasten off. Leave a long tail of yarn that we'll use to weave the sleeves and body together. Repeat this process with the same number of rows until you have two identical sleeves. Now we're going to attach the sleeves to the body of the cardigan. So from the base of the triangle, count down 8 rows and insert a safety pin or stitch marker. For the back of the cardigan, count from the base of the triangle 8 rows and insert a stitch marker. You can now attach the sleeves to the body. Make sure the corners of the sleeves line up with the stitch markers. Using a darning needle, we're going to sew the sleeve to the body of the cardigan.
This is what the sweater looks like once you've sewn both sleeves to the body. Fold the sweater in half and sew down the sleeves and the sides of the body.